Type 4 hypersensitivity is cell-mediated immune response. The cells that have the allergen or the drug that's immunogenic will be presenting it to the dendritic cell that migrates to the lymph nodes, engages the T cells, and with the appropriate co-stimulation will differentiate the T cell into a Th1 that will activate macrophage responses or Th17 that will recruit neutrophil. It is the macrophage and the neutrophil, the one that produces the damage onto the tissue that is carrying the allergen or the drug that's immunogenic. So these Th1 and Th17 responses are CD4, and they're also called delayed type hypersensitivity or DTH. It does take time for the dendritic cell to migrate to the lymph node to present with the appropriate cost stimulation to the T cell, differentiate them, and then bring back that, those target um, cells into the presence with the macrophages or the neutrophils. So this takes time. When I say time, it could be days to weeks. This is a typical response we have to poison ivy. Some patients develop the response weeks after they have been out in the woods or in, in contact with the poison ivy, and some others can develop it within three or four days. Of course, the PPD, which is a tuberculin skin re re uh, diagnosis for tuberculosis, and it's a DTH reaction and contact dermatitis. These are all examples of CD4-mediated DTH. On the other hand, the dendritic cell could actually migrate again to the lymph node and in this case activate CD8 cytotoxic T cells. It will not be producing a T helper response, but directly a CTL or cytotoxic T cell response, whereby the, the CD8 cells directly migrate back, identify the cells that carry the antigen or the drug that's immunogenic and destroy them. This response is typical in type 1 diabetes. And by the way, this has been reported with antibodies, therapeutic antibodies to the CD3 surface antigen of T cells. So this drug is used in some cases for treatment of cancers, but it could activate the cytotoxic T cells and produce type 1 diabetes as an adverse event. In rheumatoid arthritis, this is also another type of hypersensitivity that we see and graft rejection. 